name of this dessert translates to burnt cream, but don't let that fool you, it's delicious. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today I'll be showing you a recipe for creme brulee. So for this recipe, you'll need six egg yolks, six tablespoons of white sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two and a half cups of heavy cream. After preheating your oven to 375 degrees, beat the egg yolks, four tablespoons of the sugar, and vanilla in a bowl until it's thick and creamy. Now pour your heavy cream into a saucepan and place it on the stovetop. Stir it over low heat until it's almost boiling, then remove it immediately. Pour a little of the hot cream into your egg yolk mixture and whisk it briskly. Then, pour the rest of your egg yolk mixture into the rest of the cream and whisk it again. You might notice a layer of foam on your mixture. Remove that and discard it. Next, pour your mixture into individual ramekins. Now, place those ramekins in a baking dish and place that baking dish on the shelf in your oven. Then pour hot water into the baking dish about halfway up the sides of the ramekins. Now cook your brulees until they jiggle just slightly in the center like gelatin. This can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. When your brulees are done cooking, remove them from the oven and allow them to cool in the water bath for about 15 minutes. Once that's done, place them in the fridge to cool completely. When you're ready to serve, sprinkle the tops of your brulees with the remaining white granulated sugar and then shake off the excess. Either place them under the broiler or use a propane torch to burn the tops. If you're using the oven, make sure to keep an eye on them so they don't burn. And now serve them immediately. This dessert is so popular because of the difference between the creamy custard and the sugary crispy crust. Mm -hmm.